Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. I have a problem that is quite annoying. I only have one Wu-Tex crystal to my name. I don't have any more Wu-Tex shards. And I don't know which one of these swords that we got in the last episode I want to use it on. You see, both my axe are, axes, I should say, are, well, pretty, pretty dead. Uh, we got anything else killer here, which honestly, the stats aren't that great. The damage is high, but the durability is... Yeah, that's the only level it got, and this thing is really cool. It has plus two leech, um, but so does this sword. And so I want to make these two swords basically my new undead killer 2.0 and anything else killer 2.0. But I don't know which one of these I want to level up. I guess the leech one, maybe it'll get some more damage or something. I'm just gonna do it. And in good old fashion, the anvil dies. Let's see what we got. Wither withering cloud. Okay, that, that's actually not too bad. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm actually pretty happy with that. that, that that's not bad. That's not too bad at all. I saved this one here with the 0.5 extra attack damage because I usually use the un anything else killer, killer for witches and like creepers and stuff like that. So, And it won't have smite. So I thought that would probably be the wisest thing to do. Uh, I want sharpness Five, if at all possible here and smite five perfect i do need a new anvil I, oh dear <laughs> we we won't look at this mess we, we won't look at it J nope nope no looking at the mess don't peek there we go all right um smite five and then i need to combine these two i don't have enough levels come on now sharpness five oh not back to no i i refuse to have Knockback on my sword. It, it's annoying. <laughs> it's quite annoying, actually. Oh, I, I have a, I have a Shabbos Five book. Okay, that's, that'll do. That'll do. And for the unbreaking, I should. Yep, I definitely have enough emeralds. What to do with this? I should have this guy. Perfect. And then unbreaking three on you, and unbreaking three on you. Am I missing any enchantments? I don't think I am. No. Those are my new, oh, of course, they need new names, of course, I can't forget that. Anything else, Killer 2.0. And then, what did I call this one? Undead Rekiller. <laughs> uh, that's the right one, yep. Undead Rekiller 3.0. Oh, oh, come, oh, come on. Come. Uh, Undead Rekiller 3.0. That took a lot longer than it should have. But with that, we now have two new vault weapons and two new vault armor pieces right here. I did enchant these off camera. We still have our helmet and our boots, which I think... I'm not going to use the repair course just yet, but I do have that vault plating. Which for that, I'll probably need more levels. But yeah, I can go ahead and basically add a bunch of vault plating to this. Um, me and levels. It, it, we're not good friends, if you can't tell. <laughs> there we go. 20 on this thing. Okay, that might have been a little bit too much, but I, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Actually, it's complete overkill. 20 is complete overkill because I'll probably soon get another helmet or boots that will replace my, my current one. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, we won't talk about that. But with that, I'm actually now going to take my vault gear and we are going to run a vault. If, if you didn't guess that. Because in the last episode, if you didn't watch it, we reached level th uh, 50. And, well, I am dying to see if we see any loot changes. Which I'm sure we will. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited to run this. However, in order to do that, we do need to make a quick crystal. So let's see what we get. A bell, some potatoes, uh, another wood blocks, and iron. All of which should be accessible I, I must have a I must have a bell I don't have enough nether blocks but I should have everything else didn't have enough potatoes so I guess the potato farm will have to do unfortunately I took my light off that was a poor choice I don't have a potato farm did I just hold on I uh oh <laughs> I, I may have sold all my potatoes. <laughs> this this could be really bad. Nope. We're good. 
we are good so I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and give a stack to this and then yep we're good I'm so confused that I don't have a bell I should have a bell well I guess I'm going out traveling how do I not have a bell I feel like I've been to so many villagers but I guess not I need to go all the way but where's the village? Oh yeah, there's a village up here. Oh, they might have one. I really, really hope they do. You know what? I might have had a bell, and then I might have used said bell in a recipe or in in the vault altar before. So that might have been what has happened. No problem though. Bell has been sighted. Going in, steal, and off we go again. Yoink! Now we go to the Nether. Haven't actually been here in a while, and I'm immediately greeted with death. That's Typical nether. You know what? No. Don't got time for you. All I need is this. And you know what? Yay, vault magnet. Oh wow, this pastel makes short work of this stuff. Oh wow, this stuff is fun to collect. There we go. How much do I have? 180. That's plenty. That is more than enough. Nice. And there we go, crystal completed. Now again, I'm not gonna put any catalysts on this crystal. I'm just gonna run it as it is. It's gonna be random and I'm gonna just hope for the best. Do I have everything? Food, blocks, everything. I think I got it all. Yep, let's go. This is exciting. Ooh, we got a horde plus two sets of gilded chests and we got a scavenger hunt, which doesn't look too complicated and we're starting off in a paint room. I am not gonna complain. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Use the right sword for the right things. Oh, I should have added a sweeping edge on this thing. Or oh, these these two. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh yeah, we're getting husks now. That part that's part of level um level fifty. Oh wow, this thing is so, so satisfying. They are also coming with a lot more armor now. But we can immediately see very well here that we got, I need to be quick here, Soul Hunter Tier 2. Okay, I am just gonna... Do we have anything down here? Oh, there might be stuff down there. This horde after all. Oh, we're starting to get the stuff from Quark. These are runes which we can use on enchanted gear. I mean, if I can complete the scavenger hunt... I'll gladly do so. Gilded chest. Another gilded. Oh, wow. Very nice. Okay, we got a desert room. This is gonna be a tad bit dangerous. Ooh, uh-oh. <laughs> as long as it doesn't explode, I'll be all right. Please go. Oh, you have a star of next to your name. I don't know what that means exactly. If anyone knows, then that would be... I would appreciate that. Please. Okay, that's a lot of you guys. Oh, thorns? Excuse me? Thorns? Okay, I need to I need to be way more careful here. This is an issue. Okay. That fire sword from this guy is problematic. I don't know what just blew up. Not you. Please, I'm just trying to loot. Oh, there's so many gilded chests here, but it's also so dangerous <laughs> being here because it could blow up if I'm not careful. Well, that's not really anything to be careful of if I don't have control over it, but you know what I mean. Ooh. Okay, this could be... This could be good. I've been so excited about this vault. This is the first time I'm looking at the vault timer to see how much time we actually got left. <laughs> I really like these rooms where it's very easy to get these like treasure piles for when doing scavenger hunts. It makes life just a little bit easier. I'm gonna hope for the best here. Oh, there's a chest. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, oh, this is a good room. This is a good room. Nice. Uh, okay, look for ores that are glowing, such as Benyotite and Laramine, stuff like that. Please, not now. Go away. Man, 
Damn, you guys, tough. I think I got most of it. Uh, however, I don't know if there's stuff hiding behind, like, the vanilla ores. So right here, I'm just gonna, like, dig some of this out to see if something will reveal itself. Doesn't look like it. Right, I'm just gonna continue looting. I don't want to miss other stuff. All right, reached the end of this branch of the vault. Man, there's a lot of loot here. I actually haven't seen a return chest yet, which could be... That's bad. That could be bad. I'm not stepping anywhere near that. All right, back to the starter room. I want to explore the other branches. Also, I just noticed I almost have dubbed I did not intend to drop down. As I was going to say, I just noticed as well that we have almost an extra full row of hearts. That is gonna make a huge difference. I do need stuff for, from drowns, so maybe... Yep, that's a lot of them. Oh wow, they take... they have one hit. No hide though. Please give me some drowned hide. That's one, I just need one more. And there we go. Three drowned hides. That is all I need from this place, I think. I have two sacks. I, I almost have everything I need in order to turn this in. Uh, an upside down room. I'll take it. I do actually need to go ahead and start using the empty bar crate for this. I'm getting that much loot. Ah, oh, I almost had that jump. Well, this is the end of this branch as well. I still haven't found a return chest. Which I really hope I find soon. Aha! A return chest. Okay, I don't want to return this just yet though. But it's good to know there's one right next door. I do want to check the other rooms that are right next to us right here. Before I turn anything in. I just don't want to miss any really good room. Or miss a bunch of these. I also need three more of these. Um... Actually, in that case, I will return anything that I already got because that will raise my chances of getting the three blue bang bangle things that I'm missing. Turn everything else in. Yep, I just need three more of those, which I got six minutes to find. That's one. That's two. That's poison. And three. Perfect, I can return whenever I want. And this is the final room. Just want to get the final few gilded chests that I might be able to get. Health points. Uh, I can do that. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. That was quite scary in this vault to do. Uh, Banish Soul, I don't know what that does, but I'll take it. Oh, I do see gilded chest. Uh, any more? There's another one over here. Yes, I'm pushing it a little bit. There's one here too. Alright, that must be the final one. Just so I still have time to actually get back to that chest. Just in case I mess up. And here we are with plenty of time to spare. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Sweet. Ow. That, that hurts my feelings. Nice! You know what? This vault was very successful. Very successful. We got a bunch of soul shards from this as well. Nice. I suppose it's time to go through the loot, isn't it? Which we got quite a lot to go through. I think I've got to do these unidentified items first. Because we got quite a few of them and they look really interesting. So we got two swords, we got an axe, we got a helmet, we got two totems and we got a chest plate. Okay, this is looking cool. Let's see what we got. We got a new sword here at this... It has, it has a 8.96 damage? Wow. Okay then. <laughs> and it has two levels. That's amazing. This one doesn't even have any levels. That's a meh. Oh wow. Wait, uh, Omega. We got an Omega Vault Dex here. 0.5 attack damage, attack speed, and durability. Oh, wow, that's that's really, really good. We also got a common vault, vault helmet here with six repair slots and two levels. It doesn't beat an armor our current helmet, though, so that's good to know. But that's, I mean, oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll keep it as a spare, it's pretty good. All right, that is absolute meh. This is also meh, and the chest plate, yep, is also meh, compared to all the other things that we got. This helmet, though, could be a spare, and these two weapons. I mean, I just enchanted these, I'm gonna keep using these, I think, but, I mean, this, 
This is really good. All right, we got a bunch of gems as well as ores. We got two Iskalimore, seven Larimar as well, and seven Benutite, which is good because I was running low on Larimar and Benutite, but it looks like we are finally starting to build up the pile here. Looking good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of these vanilla items that are not really super interesting. So we can just focus on the vault item stuff. Yep, that's a little bit more clean. We got two statues, myself selling snow blocks and an H-bomb selling gravel. Those are good additions. Then we got someone buying bamboo and selling it for vault silver. That's good. Vault leggings, that could be very good as well. Star essence and strong vault magnet. Okay, all of these four, I, I'm down. Especially when it comes to the star essence. I mean, I got bamboo here. Let's just right off the bat sell as much of it as possible. There we go. We can then take that out. And now I don't know. Ooh, it does take more than one operation. I mean, I got a lot of vault bronze now, so buying all this should be fairly easy. Star essence. Yep, that's three extra star essence that I will take gladly. Now to add the statues. In total, we got 21 star essence and six vault diamonds from that vault as well, as well as six Wu-Tex shards here and skill lessons, even more vault bronze. Yep, this overall, this vault was pretty successful. And with this star essence, we are now at 14 star shards. I just need two more star shards and we can make two knowledge stars. Now I actually have an empty chest up here. We do got some other mud stuff in there, but I think I'm gonna make this our rune chest, at least for now, because if we go, to, if we take a look at here, it looks like we're starting to get quite a few runes, which is always welcome. What is this? Banished soul adds 3000 durability to, to a vault totem? Has a 1 in 3 chance to break the totem though when applying. Oh boy. <laughs> that is definitely something I am saving for later game. Not something worth using right now in my opinion. But yeah, that's um, wow, that's special. Now it's time for the mystery boxes. Hopefully we get a pick rank that would be the highlight of this episode. No pick rank whatsoever. Relic boost packs maybe? No relic. And no pick rank. But that was the loot. Oops. <laughs> But that was the loot from that vault. That is not too shabby. Oh, I completely forgot we completed the scavenger hunt. Okay, let's see what we got okay. in this. Ooh, okay, what we get? Okay, an unidentified vault, uh, chest plate, leggings, and helmet. Okay, definitely gotta see what this is. Meh, 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 and meh. Compared to what we got already, yeah, not not ideal. Did get a choice flask with vein miner. Okay, not what I wanted. I want to remove shaman if possible, but I'll take it. Also more star sense, always welcome. And the rest, still pretty good. Not bad at all. I completely forgot we completed the scavenger hunt. Now I've mentioned uh, knowledge stars for a while in this episode, or a couple of times in this episode, I should say. And I think the next mod that I want to work towards are Danks. It does cost four, so it is going to take a little bit for us to get there, but it's, it's going to be just very nice. It is getting to the point when running these vaults where my inventory gets full pretty quickly and I want to be as efficient as possible and thanks will allow me, hopefully, to be able to do that. However, I might not just go ahead for the tanks. I might go ahead and take these three right here, lowering the prices a bunch for a bunch of other stuff, and then buying this for one. I think that is what I'm going to do. So with that said, we do have enough star shards and plenty of vol diamonds. There we go. In order to make our next knowledge star. Except that I never remember how to make these. We need a star core. And with the star core, we need a bunch of Laramar, of course. We should have enough for this. Of course we do, we got plenty, and just like that, we got another knowledge star, which I'm gonna go ahead and consume in three, two, one. Boom. And now, question is, which one of these should I be taking? I can take test dummies, I can take more lights, and I can take fairy lights. Hmm. 
I mean, more lights supply would supply me with this kind of stuff, which we got illuminant rod, dynamic edge. Ooh, okay, that's actually kind of cool. Column, block, and we got different colored blocks as well. Okay, more lights are starting to look very tempting for me. If we go into fairy lights, fair, 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 there we go. Eh, not really. Not, not really. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all these three anyway. Test dummy. Um, uh, what on earth is that? Mm, 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 okay. Well, it's very expensive. This. Um, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get that. Well, I'm gonna get them, like I said earlier. But for now, I think I'm gonna get more lights because with that, I don't know why I can't. More lights. Oh, because it's simply lights. There we go. Well, looks like if I just get some glowstone and some sort of stone, I should be able to get this. Maybe quartz will do the trick. Now, do I have... Oh, I don't have that much. Oh, I have exactly three glowstone in order to do this. Hopefully, this is going to do the trick. No. Quartz don't work. Stone does, though. And so these are bottom, and I can turn them to top. Oh wow, they're seamless. Like we you can't tell that those are there. Only problem is my roof is like well, half a block taller, but I mean I mean that's that's kinda cool. I actually think for the rest of this episode, I think I want to revamp this room. This is going to be our statue room, so and I don't really use the villagers, well, I use them for books and whatnot, but for that, I do have another idea. If I just take one, and I can then go ahead and go here, on breaking. First of all, he's named, but also, I can see who he is. So if I go ahead and name all the villagers, so this is protection, efficiency, and fortune. Protection, efficiency, fortune. Protection, efficiency, fortune. There we go. And now I just need to do it with everyone else as well. I don't really need to do it with these guys. They're just farmers, so I know what they what they sell and provide. But these guys, um, yep, you are the saddle guy. Looting three, sharpness, saddle, looting three, sharpness, saddle. Looting and sharpness. Then we got infinity and silk touch and mending. Infinity, silk touch, and finally mending. And now I can put them all in here and boom, organized. Before doing anything else, I should probably get my normal netherite gear so I don't waste my vault stuff. Now, I want this, I think, to be mirrored on the other side as well. That way I'll be able to feature way more items, such as uh, gravel and stuff like that. So, I think all I really gotta do here is from this specific block, break everything going down. And then I just gotta place a bunch of chests. However, I do want to keep the symmetry of having this right there. I do really like this. All right, so just place a bunch of double oak chests all the way down. Oh, yeah. Get a bunch of glass item frames and put them on the chests like so. And then take something like this, the gravel. We could place that over there and then move each bomb over here to the other side. Yep, that is going to be a whole lot better. Why do we have rocky stone in? That's not right. There we go. We also got dark oak logs generating over here. That shouldn't happen. So you gotta go and blackstone. Not gonna work either over there. So we can just go ahead and do this. Uh, dark oak log. There we go. And then blackstone. Place that there. Boom. Much neater. E except for that. That's a lot better, I think. Now for the remaining things over here, 
I'm not sure how I want to do this part. Actually, I shouldn't break that. That's kind of the corner piece. I think this is going to be the place for my maker statues. And for this place, I want to drop the floor down, I think by one. So if I go ahead and yep, do something like that, and then drop the floor down like so, and then continue the pattern down here. Okay, so far so good. Of course, I gotta change the stone down here to something a little bit nicer. Perfect. Now, if I then go ahead and break you and take this and place this here, this here, and then you on top. Hmm. Do I like this? It looks, part of me feels like it looks a little bit off somehow. Not sure why, but I might be able to locate why in a moment. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, that actually kind of that kind of works. So there would be another statue here, here, right? Yep, here and here. Yeah, I think that works, so that it can expand towards this area as well. Which, yeah, we we should really do something about. Hmm. I wonder if we could make the roof here or the ceiling out of something that looks a little bit better. Can we make brick out of something else potentially? Something that looks kind of nicer, but also adds some sort of contrast. Maybe? Which one of those would look the best, I wonder? I think the bricks, maybe. I am unfortunately completely out of deep slate, so I need to go down to the mine to get some. Whee! This should be a piece of cake. Yep. Mission accomplished. Time to get rid of this old stuff. Yay, vein miner. And I think I'm gonna do something here. If I remove this, and then I can lift the roof up a tiny bit, and I think that's gonna look really, really good once it's done. Yeah, I think I quite like this, actually. So guys, I think with that, the statue room is complete. Well, I still need to figure out a way of doing this better, but until then, this is complete. But guys, I think with that, I'm gonna call this an episode. We did some pretty good okay progress here. We turned the villager room here into our brand new statue room, which I'm really, really happy with. I do need to find a new system for the villagers. I might do that off camera, we'll have to see. But we ran a vault at level 50, which turned out to be a great success. We got a lot of loot from it. In fact, this axe is, well, Omega, and I need to consider whether or not I want to take this into use. I'm not sure yet. We also have two Watchmen skill points, but I'm gonna save those because I think, well, I'm not sure what I want to spend it on next. Maybe, uh, hmm. yeah, I actually don't know. I still need to pick which one of these I need to, I need to uh, take here. It's really tempting to take Treasure Hunter though. I will have to admit, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to think about this. I'm going to think on what I want to use the skill points for in between episodes. But like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Helps helps out the channel a ton. And if you're brand new, do consider hitting that subscribe button and enabling those notifications so you don't miss another upload. But yeah, that's going to be it for me for this one. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful, wonderful day and... Goodbye.